Welcome to Northern Maine. We are going rough grouse hunting today and there are more birds in the North Maine woods than I have ever seen in my life. I mean, we just went out yesterday only for maybe four hours and I think we saw 40 birds. If you haven't seen that video, I'd highly suggest going to check that out first. I'm gonna link that up here. Go check it out and then come back to today. We've got some rain on the way. It should make for some fantastic hunting. It's gonna rain an inch tonight, which means this morning is gonna be the time to do it. Right now, the frost hasn't burnt off and uh, it's time to be out there. So let's go. All right, you ready? I'm good to go. Not like it. So we're gonna let dad get the first one, that way I can get it on film. Probably we'll see one here in a little bit. Last time we came out here, there were so many birds, it doesn't make sense. Nope, 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 yep. We finally got the first one. That actually took longer than we thought. It was uh, probably just a cold morning. They weren't really moving, but there's still quite a few. We saw, I don't know, five now and ended up getting one here. There was three or four just in this thicket, but we are gonna work our way to our land. We'll probably do some walking there. We'll probably get one more before we even get to the woodlot um, and then go from there. All right guys, so we made it up to my father's property. Now this piece of land is an awesome place to hunt, not only for rough grouse, but also deer and moose. It just has such a variability of habitat. Uh, I mean, we got the pond, we got swamps, there's open fields, there's plantations, old growth trees, even a small clear cut here, all in this one piece of property and there's roads going all throughout it. It's got everything for multiple species. And so right now, my dad just had to head home. We ended up getting one in the morning, but it was a little more slow than we had expected. So that's all right. At least in the afternoon, I'm thinking we're gonna see a lot more partridge. And what we're gonna do this afternoon is just go for a nice walk. I'm gonna go down this trail right behind me, and we're gonna see if we can't find a couple rough grouse. So there is some rain coming on the way and at least in the afternoon that should force them to get out and get some food. Whenever you have some significant weather on the way or on its way out, the partridge usually get a little more active right before a large rainstorm or snow and then afterwards, you know, it's the only time that they can get out and get that food. All right, well, I just got my first bird. Of course, my GoPro wasn't recording because I just saw that moose back here, decided I was gonna save that footage and then forgot to restart it. This field is perfect. Like I was saying, this, uh, is that a bird up there? I think it is. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up and I think there's a bird right there. 
Uh, like I was saying, this land is, uh, we have a lot of variability and it makes it great habitat. So the moose tend to stick to, we have this brand new, uh, for the most part, almost a clear cut, pretty much well thinned um, back here. And so there's a lot of regen. So we're seeing a bunch of moose and deer in there right now. Um, and the moose are hanging out there all the time. So it doesn't surprise me that I saw one. So if I had been lucky enough to draw a permit, I would have got my bull right there. But ended up getting a partridge instead. We're going to go get another one, hopefully. I think right up there. So let's go do that. Oh my gosh, I see one. Yeah, I see one right there. I just saw him. Oh, I see him. Shoot. Sees me too. <laughs> Let me get closer. Ah, oh, it's far. Ah, that tree. Shoot. Oh, I told you I saw a couple birds up there. I just got that other bird down there, right here. When I was talking to you guys, I thought for sure I saw one up here. And when I walked a little closer, it ended up flying up in that nice tree just to get at a couple berries. Yeah. So I saw him, but unfortunately he saw me too. Can't believe he stuck around. And then that last one that flew off, I feel like that was a wing shot that I should have been able to get, but I, you can see it on the GoPro footage. I took out that branch and that probably just uh, blocked my shot. But hey, that doesn't matter. There's all kinds of birds. Good to start practicing that wing shot for the upcoming duck season. Look at all these scrapes, guys. So this right here, you can see, this is all partridge. You can see where they're digging right here. They love these gravel banks because first off, they can get little rocks for their crop. But when they're digging through it, you know, it holds a lot of grubs. And those grubs are full of protein. You can see what I mean. I mean, look at these scratched up banks. If you can find a bulldoze bank, you are in business. Mixed with low cover and lots of regen. I mean, this is just a great spot. And you can see this corridor. I catch them walking across this all the time. Let's continue. So after seeing all those birds um, right at the edge of this clear cut, I decided to follow the clear cut to the end and then walk to the back of it. And what I'm thinking is I'm gonna walk this stretch where I got the clear cut on one side and that transition um, from up on the ridge, it's all hardwood from there. Oh, shoot. Hard to be ready when you're carrying two birds. Maybe there's one more. Just a single. Ah, he was right in front of me too. So many bushes I couldn't see. Yeah, that's okay. There's a lot of birds. I'll see another. Uh, I wish I had something to carry these guys, like a vest, but I don't. I wonder if that was the one I just spooked actually and missed down there. There's a good chance of that. What? Where did you come from? That was weird. I just got my third bird. That was really weird. I hope the GoPro was going because I'm just kind of sweeping the outskirts of this clear cut back here. Uh, and it starts to connect to hardwood just behind me. I mean, this is mostly softwood, but that back border there, that's where it starts to get thick again. 
Uh, so this transition point, there seems to be a lot of birds. Uh, I just saw two on this, this walk, but that was so weird. So this hillside right here, he must've been sitting up here. And then I was walking by and it flew feet in front of me and just landed right there. So I don't think I spooked it. I, I don't think it knew I was here at all. I just happened to be right in front of it as it flew down to go feed because um, there is rain on the way so they are probably getting a little more urgent to feed this afternoon has been way better than this morning that marks one hour and i got three birds i could have got more had i shot just a bit better but that whatever that's besides the point um so i can so in maine the limit's four i kind of want to save one for my limit this afternoon to hunt with my dad and i realized that uh, i actually have the bird he got this morning so technically i have four in my possession which if i shot another one and then a game warren came up that wouldn't go so well whether or not i'm telling the truth uh they have no way to tell that so i'm gonna take the three birds we just got we're gonna walk out of here there's a deer right there man there's just wildlife everywhere right now let's get out of here and go cook some of these delicious birds up Thanks everyone for watching. Now the plan was to do a catch and cook, but anyway, as you can, well, you can't see, but it is pouring rain out here right now. Tonight, we're gonna get like an inch of rain. So hopefully that doesn't last for too long. It clears off. And then tomorrow we're gonna be able to go out and do some more hunting. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Those of you who didn't make it up to Northern Maine this year to hunt, you really missed out. The hunting is incredible. And I am so excited to get out there tomorrow. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on the hunts to come. And uh, for everyone else, if you like the video, hit the like button, guys. That really helps my videos out a ton. And I'm trying to grow and expand this channel so I can do some bigger adventures. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow when we go do some more bird hunting, assuming that the weather ends. So I'll catch you guys later.